<clears throat> what's up what's up what's up this is simon you're watching cryptology so today we're just gonna talk about like why is blockchain even important what blockchain is about um you know why should we even learn about blockchain um how does it how does it improve our society how does helium improve our society how, how does iot enhance our community why you should learn about any of this um i had the ability to attend gary gensler's uh mit blockchain course and um i learned a lot from from him as well i've also been a student over at dap university where i've completed my blockchain development boot camp i'm currently also still working on my mastery program there and at the same time, um, I am part of Soul Hack, um, which is basically like, you know, individuals that are looking to become developers for the uh, Solana blockchain and where you can learn more about Solana um, and communicate with other developers as well. So on my YouTube channel, Cryptechology, you know, I went into... Um, it's not a fork of Ethereum. Um, it's it's um, Helium is our own blockchain. Okay, <clears throat> it's its own community. Um, not that it's trying to exclude anybody from the community, but I just want to people. I just want people to understand that Helium has created their own blockchain specifically for the IoT movement for the IoT mission where we're focused on bridging the gap between IOT and you, IOT and the community. Now, why is this even important, right? IOT is important because we spend a lot of time in gathering data. Whether or not, you know, you may fully even recognize the amount of time you spend on gathering data, you know, writing down information on a notebook or, you know, the finances, the sales of the day, how many customers came in from a business perspective, um, you know, when do your children fall asleep to when do they normally wake up? Um, how often, you know, do they use the restroom? Um, how often do you need to take your dog for a walk? Uh, where does your dog happen to go if he gets he or she gets loose? Um, how does the, your, your, your pets behave with other pets? Uh, what is the quality of air inside of this building, you know? Um, what is this gym equipment like? Is this good equipment? Is this bad equipment? Um, what type of material is this clothing made out of? Um, how much does this cost? Um, how can, I mean, we are constantly gathering data, but at the same time, because we spend so much time gathering data, we don't spend enough, we don't have enough time analyzing that data and coming up with positive solutions for that went for that vulnerability issue um, from that data. So, for example, you know, have gathering temperatures and the, the forest fires in, in Northern California, you know, gathering all of that data, how, when do for, forest fires, when do these fires happen, happen most often? What is the temperature of the, uh, of, of, of the day um, when fires are, or more prone to happen. Um, how long ago was the last rainfall to the, the current, um, you know, to the most current fire? And how dry was the was the ground or the soil? Um, where how much time um, is there between uh, uh, fires and their outbreaks? Uh, when a fire does go out, uh, when a fire does start. How long does it take from the beginning of the fire to the end uh, of the fire? All of this information um, is data that's being tracked and is most likely currently being tracked right now. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's fantastic. And we spend a lot of time gathering that data, making sure we have the right information so we can come up with positive preventative data solutions. Uh, so when, when it comes to IoT and the Internet of Things, our, our goal is to create a network infrastructure specifically for sensors. Now, 
currently the current system the, the current way of doing things is that you would either create a private network um, either through Wi-Fi or cellular data and that's perfectly fine you know for your own area for your own location um, but like I said it is a private um, network other people can't um, benefit off of that off of that information um, you couldn't just um, you know if, if you wanted to you know uh, um, gather more information pertaining to that location um, you know it may not be as easy to even access and add more sensors to it um, nearby businesses nearby uh, nearby businesses nearby businesses nearby won't be able to utilize the coverage zone um, that you've created so you know we've created this world of private pockets everywhere and with the helium blockchain our goal is the decentralized wireless network okay the decentralized wireless network will be an infrastructure that is built by the people by the community by the world and I don't mean just and the people it could be businesses it could be it could be anybody that's what it's for it, it's anybody and when we um, when we install and deploy and place one of our hotspots, the the future spots, um, it creates a new coverage zone, and that means anybody in that area will be able to utilize that coverage. So if you're a business that happens to be so you know that happens to be fortunate enough that your neighbor or the near uh, nearby business or anything nearby um, happens to deploy a hotspot and starts creating LoRaWAN coverage you don't need to worry about setting up a private network and your own thing because that can get costly and that can get expensive all you need to actually focus on is getting the sensor and adding it to the network and then once you add that sensor to the network you can start um, automatically uh, start analyzing track I mean track data um, and then you'll be able to analyze that data. So, for example, if you are a school or a business dentist office and, you know, you're noticing a decrease in customers wanting to come in um, because they're concerned about, you know, about COVID and, you know, everything that's been going on in the world. Well, there's one, one way that you can help um, make people feel more comfortable. And the way you can do that is by providing... Um, an air quality sensor within your business uh, or, or school or lo location. So essentially to um, let people know that the CO2 levels, the pathogens, you know, the thing, anything that's, that's in the air um, is currently being monitored and you are in a safe location. So here's an example of, of what something like that would look like. So over at Erica here, you know they have created and currently works with the helium blockchain and is a uh, solution that PSB advanced technology will be able to provide to individuals as well but so Erica monitors the quality of the air indoors for better health performance and well-being uh, this really is successful um, and provides a solution to sick building syndrome okay so Erica measures the quality of the air, such as the CO2, temperature, humidity, uh, volatile organic components. Um, uh, it also gives real-time feedback uh, if the quality of air exceeds the threshold value. So you can create certain values and it'll let you know, hey, you know, something needs to be done. And at the same time, you, you don't have to worry about reading numbers or this and that. You'll simply be uh, notified by the color uh, of the light okay so the light will go off and it will let you know you know if the lights are green if everything is good yellow or red and these are some of the customers currently using Erica right now in their facility and we need to you know get on board uh, within America um, and in the US uh, currently worldwide IOT has you know, helped advance businesses 
um, in ways that most people may not even fully understand. But the best thing about Erica is that it is fully compatible with the Helium network and Helium blockchain. And we are creating solutions for anything like that. Now, another thing that, you know, why this is important and how you can use, um, use this to your advantage. So Barnacle is a, is a sensor that it's an asset tracking sensor. And let me just go ahead and pull that up for you. So this is a package tracking sensor, which is really good. So this is great for businesses that may um, be sending out uh, packages on a you know monthly basis on a, you know consistently, and you want to you know provide your customers with real time alerts on where that package is located, on its route, how long will it get there um has if anybody has tampered with it if it happens to be going in a direction it's not supposed to be going um how do you know about that right now how can you track that so that's what barnacle does and by all of us building out this network and creating coverage zones we'll be able to provide this peace of mind to customers and business owners uh, you know across the u.s and across north america across the world and the Helium network ensures you know, this robust connected coverage in most urban, suburban areas. And the best part about it is there's no monthly service fees to use something like this, okay? So we're building out this network infrastructure and you can start using it today. And all you need to do is um, get the sensor and get um, and have it connected to the Helium network. And that's where PSB Advanced Technology, that's where we come into play. We are here to provide you with preventative data solutions. Now, whatever your business is involved in, there is a way for you to enhance your business and get ahead of the curve with the IoT mission. This movement, um, you know, everyone's probably saying, hey, you know, I've heard about IoT in the past. Why now? Why is it important now? Well, the reason why it's important now is because we have a totally different strategy behind it. In the, in the last decade or so, the IoT mission was fueled on building out these, you know, the hardware, the equipment, all right, and the, the software and all of that. And that's great and all because we need everything. You know, we need the any LoRa compatible sensor um, will work with the Helium network. But at the same time, nobody sat back and said, hey, what about actually creating our own network for this just like we have a network for cell phones why wouldn't why shouldn't we have a network for sensors i mean think about all the sensors in your car okay you know they can become LoRa compatible sensors and all of that data on your car will be you know will be accessible um through through the network and then people can use this information to help better our world you know there are ways that you can you know tr maybe track accidents um, and how far uh, um, individuals are really driving from one car to another uh, before their reaction kicks in with their brakes and you know how often people happen to you know um, find the uh, parking spots and that are, are you know available to them you know one thing that we are focused on is helping out the 18 wheelers and truck drivers and um, letting them know about parking locations before they even come to a site so we are you know there are sensors available that we can put up at truck stops or you know other parking lots and things like that and it would monitor the available spots and it'll also check to see how many trucks are currently there. So if you're about an hour away or you know, so coming up to your stop and you're like, man, where am I going to lay my head down? Where am I going to sleep? Where am I going to stop um, and take some rest? Um, the, the, the last thing you want to do is get to a truck stop and then you go there and you go find out that there's nowhere for you to park. And then you end up being one of the truckers that is probably parked on the side of the highway or who knows, or having to say, man, I can't park here now. I need to drive another 20, 30, maybe hours um, to go to the next location 
um, to find a, a, a spot to park or something like that. So that's what this is about. You know, we have a real world solution. Our crypto project, our blockchain, our community is within the digital realm and the physical world. We are not just, you know, a token on the blockchain that, you know, you can just do this, that, and a third, and there's no other value to it. No, our value is the world. Our value is the community. Our value is the network that we're building for the network users. That's why Helium is valuable, okay? And that's why Helium is important. And for anybody that, you know, that's just looking to help and, you know, let's be real, they want to make some money off of this, all right? Um, get into hardware and helping us build this infrastructure, yo, do it all day. I will never knock anybody for helping us build out this network. But I do want you guys to understand that that is not the only way that you can support the Helium network. That is not the only way that you can level up from Helium, right? Because we're providing true value to our world, to the community, there are multiple ways for you to get involved within the Helium ecosystem. You can help. You can help businesses um, focus on how to utilize the sensors. Now, for example, there's coverage in that area. You can go around and let people know, hey, we've created the Helium network. We have coverage for LoRaWAN sensors. Here are ways that you can improve the bottom line of your businesses with these type of sensors. Hey, do you want to keep track of the amount of people coming in and out of your shop? All right, here's a sensor for that. Hey, you want to keep track of the back door opening and closing and wondering why your air, air condition bill or your heat bill is so high. So you want to figure out what times of the day that the doors open more frequently so maybe you can reduce you know, the, the air or the heat or whatever. You can strategize around that data with that information. Say you want to you know, let people feel comfortable when they come inside your business of your place of work. You can put up an air quality sensor and let people know, hey, the air quality is being monitored and we are at optimal uh, 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 levels for, for people to breathe this in and out and you know everything is good. Say you want to keep track of your children to make sure that they're going to school and they're walking to school and that they're not you know, going off in the directions they're not supposed to, all right? You can utilize a GPS sensor and keep tabs of your kids or even your pets with GPS um, LoRaWAN compatible collars as well, all right? Yeah, they have phones, they have private networks, they have my devices and all these things, but all of that requires people to have access to your phone, all right? You know, Bluetooth devices getting tracked. That's having your Bluetooth on and, and people having the, um, access to, your, to the hardware, all right? The reason why LoRaWAN and all this is important is because you not you don't have to you don't have to provide any of your PII your personal identify your personal identifiable information. You don't have to worry about anyone having access to your phone with so because you want Wi-Fi connection or you want Bluetooth connection to so you can be able to track something or someone so someone can be able to track you. You don't need any of that. All right. This is an open network, and it, but at the same time, it's a private network. You, I know that sounds crazy when I, when I say that. All right, it's you. You end up trusting a trustless system, and what do I mean by that? Is you trust in the helium decentralized network? Okay, you trust in the network, and you and all you need to know is that all right, this sensor. Is is acts is um being uh is connected to the LoRaWAN network and this is not a real sensor I don't know why I'm holding that I'm sorry this sensor all right is a GPS sensor and is currently being connected uh, it's connected to the network it has coverage right and I click on this button and it also gives out the location but at the same time this sensor okay is not connected to me this sensor can be in anybody's pocket all right so you don't know 
who has the sensor, whose phone it's connected to. Why? Because, well, if you have a phone and you have a phone bill and then you can track what phone it is through the IMEI and through the Bluetooth, and then you can check to see who's their cell coverage. And once you find out who their cell coverage is, you can then check to see who who's contract contracted contracting their uh, cell data plan and then blah, 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 okay? So your PII, your data is being, is being sold every single day. All right. So anyone that's concerned about security or data or any of that, you should have we should you should have said something about that 10 years ago, 20 years ago. All right. Um, we are beyond past that 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 ability of, of data being sold and tracked. And, you know, everything is for free nowadays. But anyway, so you can this is just an example. It's a prototype, but this is a GPS tracker you can put inside of your shoe the battery can last for for years. OK. Um, uh, you put this inside your shoe and or your book bag or whatever um and whoever has access to the to the dashboard all right will be able to see this okay but it doesn't it, it, even if other people a complete stranger was would see this all right and they look on the dashboard and they look on the map and they see they're going to see that a gps sensor is there they're not going to see Oh, GPS sensor is owned by such and such and it's their such and such child. Like you're not you're not gonna know if a dog has this, if a person has this, if a package has this. You're not gonna know anything. The only thing you're gonna know is that this item, this sensor, is somewhere on the map, and that's all you need. And the best part about it is as the sensor owner, I know this sensor, so therefore I, when I look at that data, I know what I can do with it. But you still need to know. You still need to know. Even if you told your neighbor, it was just like, hey, I put a GPS sensor in my kid's book bag. Okay. They're, not, they're, they're still not going to know when they look on a map which one is which. It won't be. You're not, that, that data is not being shared. Okay, so that information is not being shared. And that's why this is extremely valuable, okay, because we are providing a, a open, decentralized wireless network and infrastructure for sensors, specifically for sensors, that it does not go into um, anybody's personal identifiable information. Um, it, 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 it doesn't, you don't need to worry about um you know, anyone having access to your phone through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or having to even connect your phone. Once you set this up and get connected to the network, like, for example, you will contact me. We'll connect this to the network or I will show you how to connect it to the network. And then once it's connected to the network, you you, you do what you need with the data, um, with um, <laughs> with what you, whatever you need to do with that data. And if you need help learning how to benefit with with sensor data um you know you can use this there there there's so many different ways that you can utilize LoRaWAN and iot sensors you don't have to mainly use this as a gps tracking device you can use this for example um say you are a vineyard that does um tractor rides all right so you do tractor rides in the vineyard and you want to um, you want to keep an organized uh, route, okay? You can put one of these GPS trackers on on the tracker on the tractors, and then you can organize your routes through these. So you can say, all right, this one's over here, this one's over there, all right. So you can be creative on how you want to use this, or maybe you don't even want to actually keep track of an item, but you want to know that an item is actually just there, you know, that it exists or. or or, um, you know, if this is on that, you know, I don't know. Um, for example, you want to, you want to keep, um, you want some data on how well, um, or how long it takes from, uh, this, 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 this package to get from A to B. Okay. So you can utilize a GPS tracker, but you're not, at, you're not using this for the actual location of where it's at, you're using this for the time. So for example, you can say, all right, at one o'clock, it was at this location. At two o'clock, it was at this location. Therefore, it traveled the distance of X, X meaning whatever that distance is, within one hour. 
all right and then you can use it to to do track you know things like that and there's so many ways that we can utilize sensor data um it's not even funny and i'm just i'm just i'm just like super stoked about how how like the future and and others are going to be able to create um you know uh, uh solutions preventative data solutions from from the foundation that i'm building here from from my kids at psb advanced technology we are super involved into into blockchain um into iot so psb advanced technology we are focused on building out the network okay we build out the network through hotspots a hotspot looks something like this all right so this is a hotspot from rack wireless okay so you can put one of these hotspots in your location and it would start providing LoRaWAN coverage and this is an example of a GPS tracker at the same time we um, at PSB advanced technology we are focused on our um, future self apparel line so that's what this gear is that I'm wearing right now we are we are sponsors and supporters of the future self uh, crypto IOT apparel line and we have hats we have sweatshirts we have t-shirts we have different book bags um, we have uh, mouse pads um, other bomber jackets um, and we have designer shirts coming out uh, very soon um, we also have some artwork as that will be coming out as well um, future self also is a supporter of and sponsor of our future Plex uh, NFT marketplace so future Plex is an NFT marketplace and I will actually go to that plate right now at future Plex we are um, we've created a NFT marketplace on the Solana blockchain so this is here for those that may not be able to you know to afford the 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 blockchain the ethereum blockchain okay ethereum transactions are quite expensive and I, and I totally get it trust me i want to interact with ethereum and sometimes i can't even interact with ethereum because the transaction the gas prices are just so high um i just you know i don't have the funds to to do that uh right now but let alone do i have the phone funds sometimes it's like man you know a hundred dollars two hundred dollars for for gas transaction like that's a lot or whatever so on the Solana blockchain, we created the NFT marketplace. So we're looking for NFT artists, uh, other artists out there that would like to showcase their NFTs on our marketplace, the Futureplex marketplace. And at the same time, we'll mint it out to you. We'll set and we'll we'll, we'll set you up as a creator, and you can mint out your own um, NFTs, or we could mint them for you with a um, minting fee. And uh, if you'd like to go check out our Explorer, start is still currently um, um, adding more and more use out of this and more and more NFTs out of this. Uh, we are currently in the works of <laughs> of uh, uh, increasing our the speed to the to the site um, so we can scale up. As of right now, this is all just beta. Um, that's why it takes a little time for everything to load properly but as you can see right here so these are all of the nfts that are currently within the nf uh, within the marketplace and that you'll be able to you'll click on them and then you'll be able to access them and then um, check them out you, know, you can also go ahead and create a auction for the nfts so people can come and use it when you're a creator, you'll go under the creator list and then so you click create and then this is the area where you can go and try to um, create a new NFT to be minted. So <clears throat> let me show you an example of what it would look like and how you would go about that process. So say I wanted to mint, um, uh, where is it? Oh, there's an NFT that I was working on. I just got to find them. Um, here we go I want to make some NFTs for the jacket alright so this is one of our new bomber jackets so we go to continue to mint alright so we put the name future future style bomber jacket okay Okay, 
let's make a we can say max supply of a thousand or actually no let's do a hundred okay continue the royalties so then you'll select how much you know let's say 25 percent um this is how much a you know the secondary sale will be paid out to the creators so if you purchase it and then they go and sell it how much is that can go to the creators um, for it and then you go to continue to review and then look at that pay with so look at that price all right cost to create 98 cents all right so this is why we created the nft marketplace here for you i'm not going to go through the process of minting it because um <clears throat> i i um, already started that process so you don't need to worry about doing that um here's an example of currently the um, nfts that's already been minted this is one of my favorite ones right here so let's go and click on preview so this is the glow enhance your future self glow here so and then we also have the um, just regular enhance your future self black here's a preview all right and um, the explore when you click, click on explore it will bring you to I guess I was already yeah here we go so it'll bring you to the to the auction so click go to auction all right and then it will bring you to the future plex diamond this is currently in auction right now there's five hours left on this um, auction you can go click on place bid um, for it the future plex diamond just wait for it to come up um, i didn't add any description or anything like that to it so that's why nothing is coming up down here uh, if you did want to click place a bid on it um, you click place a bid and this is what you'll do so this is letting you know how much at soul that you currently have and then say for example you wanted to place a bid you know one soul on it you just put one and you put place place bid or if you wanted to do like you know say a 0 0.5 soul or whatever and you click place bid once you click um, associated with this of the, the transaction and so forth um, but we're so we're just gonna X that out but yeah so this is the future Plex marketplace um, we're going to be adding more to it actually this is kind of good that it doesn't come up because you know a lot of people seeing the diamond if you want to see the diamond head on over to futureplex store i think it's actually when i'm recording it doesn't come up i did notice that it takes a lot longer when i screen recording not to say that it's probably correlated or not um but you know all right y'all i'm simon this is cryptology as i say that and come <laughs> he's like you're full of shit now i'm like yeah i know i'm full of shit <laughs> y'all caught me <laughs> No, I was just taken down because you know we we're, we're still in beta and we're still we're still growing. So um, but uh, once once we get out of beta and we have the the the, the proper not the proper the uh, database up for it, um, and where we can scale faster, it, it would be a lot faster um, utilizing the site. But until then, um, we're still in beta. So all right, I'm Simon. I am CTO and founder of PSB Advanced Technology. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like, subscribe, share this with other users. And like I said, if you are um, in the NFT community and you're looking to sh showcase your NFT um, in a marketplace, get with me, leave a comment below, let me know. And if you wanna support our um, business and the IoT movement, uh, please leave a comment. Also, you can utilize one of any of the affiliation links in the description below. All of the commissions goes to buying hardware and helping us fund this project, the NFT project, PSP Advanced Technology. It helps us. It helps all of this run. You know, as as I'm literally just a guy that um, is super passionate um, and just trying to solidify my position in this opportunistic and transitional time period that we're in right now. 
building this company for my kids to be able to build on um, in, in the future and build off of it in the future and to continue its growth. Um, and yeah, so PSB Advanced Technology is the IoT company. Future Self Apparel is the crypto IoT crypto apparel line like this. All right, stay tuned for more designs and Future Plex. Future Plex is our NFT marketplace um, store where you, any NFT artist will be able to showcase their NFT and their artwork in our marketplace on the Solana blockchain. So if you are a black um, or brown um, NFT artist, we are looking to um, work with black and brown um, artists as well. Um, if you're not, it really doesn't matter. You can still communicate with me too and get your artwork on here. But I do want to give um, recognition to all uh, uh, to all minorities within the blockchain and crypto community, and you know try to connect together in, in establishing a a place for us to learn, build, grow, and um, you know benefit from this uh, blockchain and crypto transitional time period that we're in. Okay, I'm blabbing, I'm ranting. Um, yeah, get at me.